What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Alright guys, couple things to talk about. Tomorrow is a big day. We have the brand new events coming out with the giant, uh, big old iron giant, and we have the weapons going into the gacha draw system, the regular one. Not the wish list, just the regular tickets, right? So tomorrow if you plan to pull for anything that is have been, has been already out up to the Killer Hornet and the Prism Rod, this is your chance now to get them just through the basic draw system, especially if you've been saving your tickets, right? So I wanted to talk about that. Number two, I want to talk about the Iron Giant himself. If it is anything like what I'm expecting, which is on floor 30 and 50, I want to talk about how to prepare for this, okay? And number two, I want to talk about my Discord running people through it like we did in the crash event for Sephiroth. We have a channel set up for the Iron Giant, so if you have not joined the Discord, it is always in the description, guys. Click the link. Jump onto our channel, get the role for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis or whatever else game you plan to play on my Discord channel. And then join us and join the massive community that's growing and constantly helping one another. So thank you to all of you guys for making that possible. Now let's talk about the Iron Giant himself real quick. And then we're going to talk about the November schedule and what to expect in the month of November for the campaigns. Okay, so uh, real quick before we start that though. I know there's been a lot of concern about story mode and when the next drop is. Apparently the devs, if I remember reading this, said once a month we should increase, they're going to drop some sort of a story mode in the game. So I think in the month of November we should expect the next storyline to come out. With that, hopefully a brand new character like Yuffie, um, which we've all been expecting and hoping for. So just keep an eye peeled for that and I'll obviously report on it as soon as I see it, right? But let's talk about the Iron Giant real quick. Now this is the Astral Iron Giant. I don't know if it's going to be the same thing. But I would imagine it's going to play out very similarly. Now, stage 50, as you can see, I've completed on my free-to-play a long time ago. Um, and stage 30 are exactly the same in terms of the actual immunities and what the boss does. Now, the Astral Iron Giant is a foe that is going to be strictly weak to physical attacks, but is pretty much immune and resistance to all elemental attacks, right? You guys can see here, resistance, fire, ice, thunder, uh, wind, quake, uh, earth and water all resistance the sigil is in fact x so we might see that as well pop up where the boss ends up being a little bit easier than someone like sephiroth is this boss you can actually do defense physical defense down and you can do uh, physical attack down making it hit substantially less and take way more okay i'm not sure whether the new Iron Giant that we're going to be facing in the critical threat is going to be immune to all debuffs just like Sephiroth was, right? Because Sephiroth only had a mode where he did an infusion. He was stronger with one element, but also weaker with another. That that may play a part in this as well, too. We may see that kind of style set up and work out for the Astral Iron Giant. So just look at this, guys. Expect to see something similar with maybe a twist. Right, And that twist may be a phase where he's immune or weak to something. And then you will have to take advantage of that, obviously, when it happens. I'm not sure if... I think tomorrow we're probably going to see a brand new banner. I have a pretty good feeling we should with the, with the release of the Iron Giant. Because I don't think they're going to make Arrow again be the main weapon. Because Sephiroth Crash Mode was Arrow, Arrow Week, right? So we had the Prism Rod and the Killer Hornet for the Sigil. And then now we have this event, right? The the La Pena uh, dungeon ranking as well as the Halloween event. Also weak to arrow for Sephiroth's weapon. And then also Cloud's bandage weapon to help out as well to that. So I can only imagine, guys, tomorrow we're most likely going to see this event drop accompanied with a brand new banner. Uh, who knows? We might end up seeing Glenn. It is closer to Halloween. Halloween has not ended yet. So we may we actually may end up seeing a Halloween version of Glenn come out in that time okay so keep that in mind also real quick crisis dungeons uh these have not ended yet don't worry about it people are worried that it's going to be end of the month no it is still 17 days left still got a lot of time to do it i've got to go ahead and complete these myself and then move on and do the very hard modes and make a guide for you guys on those work in progress right now i've got a lot going on um okay so that's that jump on the discord let's work together and when crash mode does come out and it most likely will We'll at least be able to complete it uh, together as a community and reap the rewards like we did with the Frenzy, right? Hey, look at that. Hit, hit 30 and got myself uh, everything I wanted. No, I don't want that. I just want this. There we go. 
that's actually really cool one. I'm probably going to switch that over. So um, next thing, notices. There is a brand new November campaign schedule out now. Okay, so expect this, and this is where you want to start saving stamina a little bit because of these. So weapon enhancement boost campaign starts tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, that's actually that's right now. That's going on now until the 5th of November. So this is a great time to increase the weapons um, in terms of enhancing weapons and also the rewards and the enhancement drop is being increased by 30%. So make sure if you are looking to level up your weapons and also increase the weapon drop rate for enhancement material, it's going on now for the next week, okay? After that will be character growth. This is the experience for your character. So if a brand new character does drop, like for example, Yuffie, that will be the time you want to start, go ahead and start leveling her up. But if not, you have other characters you can focus on, obviously, and this will be the time to do that. Another week starting November 5th. November 12th, Chocobo Expedition Boost Campaign. So the amount of player EXP gained in Weapon Enhancement Quest and Character Growth Quest will be increased by 20% as well, which is interesting because they're offering uh, a little bit more EXP there. And the Expedition Rate Drop Rate will be increased by 20%, so this is a great time to collect some rare items from the Chocobo Expedition, so log in and do that. November 19th, which, by the way, is my birthday. I'm turning 40. Holy shit, I'm getting old. Um, we'll see a premium boost campaign where the uh, premium drops will be increased by 30%. And then, of course, they're just talking about the calculation and how everything is going to be calculated based on drop rates, which we already know about, right? So nothing to go there. So a couple of things I want to add to the uh, event tomorrow. If, in fact, the boss is weak to physical defense down, you may want to bring a physical defense down weapon with you like hard edge or anything else that will offer that i have a full list of the weapons and what they do uh, which actually probably needs to be updated at some point it's a little bit behind now but if you don't have weapons like myself i don't have any weapons that can do that uh bring characters right like tifa for example can do physical defense down and magic defense down so very very good uh lb with her somersault so throw her in there to, help, to be able to assist you, and it's, it's fast. It's 1,800 LB points versus the 1,800, which is the normal ones, right? So a really good choice is obviously bringing a unit that can do that for you. So don't fret if you can't, if you don't, or if you don't have a weapon that does that. Try to level up some characters that offer you as well, right? That can do that for you as well. So very important, guys. Um, tomorrow we're going to have the big news about the Iron Giant. I'm curious to see what it is. For those also that were like, the crash event that's pay to win let's i just want to bring this up real quick as well too because it's been a topic that a lot of people have been talking about um you guys have to understand like as a free-to-play player if you can finish 99 percent of content in a game without spending a penny for example this right here right um it's not really pay to win i'm, I'm still gonna stick to that right yes there is a pay to win event like the crash event like the actual crash sephiroth was only for 200k plus or 185k plus maybe if we're trying to be a little bit more generous the iron giant will probably have something similar to that guys so it's gonna happen i mean they, they have to cater to whales somehow right this game has been so friendly to everybody that whales need to have some content that only they can beat and i don't think that's a bad thing to also uh, have because your spenders want to feel like they're getting something that no one else has that's why they're spending right so I wouldn't really worry too much about it, guys. It's just going to be another logo, uh, their name plastered somewhere, which is great for them, obviously, and that's the whole point of paying, right? You want to have some sort of a shout-out or some sort of a benefit that other players that aren't paying have. So please, guys, let's not, not make a big deal over something that's so small, right? Anyways, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully on the Discord as well. Remember, join, get the roll, jump on, and join the big community that's growing. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.